You're watching a Fox 17 News special presentation, the opening of the Music City Center. Getting with it, isn't he? That's Vince Gill singing a blues tune for the folks at the Music City Center. He was just one of the performers who offered entertainment as part of the grand opening celebration. We'll show you some more music coming up just a little bit later. Well, while most of the businesses downtown that we talked to were looking forward to seeing more people in the area, a few didn't want to see the Music City Center happen. That's right. As Fox 17's Nick Paranjapay shows us, from loud construction to traffic headaches, the last three years have not been a picnic for everyone. As construction began on the new convention center three years ago, some businesses like restaurants thrived as hundreds of crew workers needed some place to eat. But other businesses dreaded their new neighbor. I need to figure out what kind of oil we need. Like Skipper Soaps, manager of the Goodyear American Tire Company between Broadway and Demumbrian, just a stone's throw from the Music City Center. Nobody wanted to come down here. Nobody wanted to get involved. Uh, you know, you'd, you'd sit in line for an hour to turn in the parking lot. Skipper says they lost 30% of their business when construction began, not to mention all the noise. The guys in the shop told me that it rattled the building and rattled the windows. Some businesses like Music City Auto Repair just closed shop. Some had to move, like Rocky Town, a faith-based after-school hangout for teens. But a spokesperson with Rocky Town told me it's actually been a positive having to move a few blocks. They've collected revenue from construction workers parking at their facility, which goes toward the operating budget of Rocket Town. We got a copy of that for me. There has been one bright side for Skipper's business during the three years of construction of the new convention center. All those nails in tires. You know, the flat repair business has probably doubled down here since the convention center was in here. Uh, retail customers aren't very happy. Skipper admits all this headache may mean bigger bucks down the road for his tire business. Or at least he hopes so. I'm hoping that, that, that it's going to be as great as I say it is, because uh, we could sure use the extra business again. I'd like to have my 30% back. That was Fox 17's Nick Paranjape reporting. National Mayor Carl Dean talked about some of those critics at the ribbon-cutting ceremony. He specifically addressed those who said this was the wrong time to build something this big. Four or five years ago, I remember being asked, is the recession really the right time to build a new convention center? My answer then is the same as it is now, although I'm a little stronger in my opinion now, that it was the right time and there was no time better to do it. Dean says one reason he feels so strongly is the fact the convention center has already booked 123 meetings. Those bookings represent more than a million hotel rooms rented. Up next, we'll hear from some downtown businesses excited about the new convention center in the neighborhood. And we'll get your reaction to Nashville's newest addition. But first, some more fun facts about that gigantic building. 